So today I wanna travel to Serbia to see my boyfriend. It has been long time to wait cause a lot of unexpected things happened lately and finally I made it. I started my flight from Jakarta International Airport at Terminal 3. I took a Emirates to fly with and surprisingly I'm gonna have 20 hour layover in Dubai Airport. So here I will show you my experience how I spend my time for 20 hour layover in Dubai. Check in for Emirates located in Big Counter and it's pretty quick and I got baggage allowance for 35 kilos. So far it's not bad at all for this price. It's really worth it. It's still 3 more hours till my boarding time so I decided to have some food before my flight because I don't want to get hungry until my flight. Finally, time to boarding. Let's go. I got two times meal for this flight, once heavy meal and once not really heavy like a bread or a snack because I only have 8 hour flight so yeah. After 8 hours flight, finally I'm here in Dubai airport. It's 2 a.m. Indonesian time. What now? What should I do? Stay tuned. So here, the first thing to do is bathroom selfie check. It's a must. I wanna tell you why I really recommend you to book Emirates for your travel. Cause if you have a layover 10 hours or over, to the next flight, you will get free hotel as complimentary, which is awesome. So you're not gonna spend your layover for sitting or sleeping in the airport. It's called Dubai Connect Service. And how to get there? Take the elevator to the downstairs, no need press anything, it automatically will drop you to the right place. And the Dubai Connect desk located in the corner this area with very big name board on it so don't need to worry to get lost. What you need is Visa Dubai if your country is required visa for entry Dubai. You can check it out from their website emirates.com if your country required visa like my country so you have to apply. But no worry because the staff in here they're gonna help you and for document you just need uh, your passport and your boarding pass that's it and you have to wait for one hour yes one hour so it would be better if you have it already so the name of the hotel is Captron hotel it's not really far from the airport just about five or six minutes and the bus will drop you right and when you get there you just check in and the staff will give you a, a room and wi-fi and the key and don't forget you're gonna get a meal voucher one time you can take for breakfast or lunch which is really good The restaurant is located in the ground floor in the corner and you just show your boarding pass and you can go inside.
this restaurant has really nice food actually it's not really bad they have a salad bar a main course bar and dessert and fruit bar Grab your food, bring to the table, and enjoy it. And after lunch, I decided to walk around and to see what's happening around the hotel. And you know guys, oh my god, it's really hot. It's totally different than my country. Normally, I, I have like 32 degrees, but now it's... 38 degrees and you can see guys like nobody walking around nobody outside only me it's too hot it's here okay time to go back to the airport and continue my flight now i'm here in b gate which is my flight will boarding in b3 so I just wait around here while I'm waiting my next boarding time is still have two and a half hours so I have some coffee and snack time to boarding the bus will take us to the airplane but it's really surprising me because I thought it's only five or ten minutes no it's almost 45 minutes to get there oh my god so far Here I am, ready to fly to Belgrade, another 5 hour flight, and see you later! Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and see you in another video, bye!